Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Aristotle once said, it is during our darkest moment that we must focus to see the light. And the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt within the heart. And that's Helen Keller. So as our leaders, talk with us and not at us. Nigeria Ami shot at protesters. No, Ami wasn't there. People died. Nobody died. Okay, people died. Oh, just one. And no, two persons died. Lagos State come, called us to come and share curfew. No, we didn't call you. We have no powers to call you. And according to Fela, argument, argument, argument. Maybe a gen flash camera or his decoder might be helpful very soon. Our elected officials should understand that they are neither superior nor more Nigerian than the rest of us. And the status they enjoy and are not right but privileges donated by the people. So in time of crisis, they should learn to talk with us and not at us. After all, you begged me to vote for you. So you're not doing me a favor. You don't threaten defenseless protesters whom we are shot at by soldiers to come answer to questions as to what they were doing at the protest ground, yet promising them justice. It's either you do not understand the term justice or you're just playing politics. Talk with me and not talk at me. When you refuse to hold regular town hall meetings, with your constituencies, only to frantically look for who to talk with during youth protests, you are indeed not ready for leadership. Even if you make Abuja a retirement home, you will return home to the poverty you failed to address someday. Mm -hmm. Know that it is contradictory when you say you have accept, accept, acceded to the demands of the youth to reform the police and end brutality, yet brutalize television stations with fine for airing protests why the police is still parading mostly people arrested over curfews as looters. We should remember that setting up an inquiry to police brutality without a corresponding investment in building the police or the army of unemployed youth will amount to covering a keg of gunpowder with fire inside. When you intentionally promote and encourage toggery during election, devalue morals, integrity, and youth orientation and upright, uprightness, hoping to perpetually use lack of same as a cultural mechanism on the people. You should be ready for the worst form of uprising when the youth eventually unite, wakes up as they cannot give what they weren't given. When you loot palliatives, men for the poor and vulnerable, be bold to own up, and when it's relooted by the same poor, apologize and show remorse to them as your comrade in looting. And as you threaten them to return their loot, also be humble enough to return the cash you have looted, as you are all looters in crime. I will therefore advocate, in addressing some of these problems, that government should not only initiate youth empowerment programs, but should place top priority in youth education and job creation, as every youth has the potential of carrying guns if pushed to the war. We, should, we shouldn't wait until our people protest or wage war against the state before we begin to listen to train, engage, or educate them. Mm. So I mentioned my um, experience at last week pleasantly surprised me because maybe the last time I was there, I knew this wasn't a hospital to go to. But with changing it to a teaching hospital, you now find young people in charge. And I was blown away in terms of the quality of equipment, the expertise, the knowledge of the young people in charge, you know. So I totally agree with you that 
if Nigeria looks to be dying and we're the ones burying it, what we need to do quickly is to admit that our young people are the ones who will take Nigeria to the future, not the old ones who no longer have ideas. You know, so empower them and not threaten them. Like DJ Switch did what they weren't expecting by going live, you know, in front in front of live ammunition and showing us what was happening, rather than admit to being wrong. First you deny, and then eventually you are looking for her. You know, it's totally unnecessary. Just apologize and you know, bring justice to the fore. Let the people who did wrong be punished for their wrong. In a country where nobody says what they mean, um, you can understand why DJ Switch would be a problem for them. Um, they, they, they never want to solve any problem or any crisis. So she's creating a crisis for them. Mm. You know, and that's what it is. So we have our crisis and they don't care, but they, if they don't want a crisis of their own, which we will then be able to use to, um, as it were, to castigate them or, you know, go for protests or whatever it is. The yeah. question is, is Nigeria dead? I'm adding parts were in gangster paradise. Hmm. There are those hmm. leaders looting the people's commonwealth. And then there are the people looting, relooting what has been, you know, kept. So it's like gangsters unleashed. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Correct. Gangsters but you breed animals, you everywhere. get animals. And um, how do you expect people to behave? Like animals. It's never 60 happened years in of Nigeria animalistic so, growth. So, my question will be, so is there no redemption? Are there not, nothing we can do Who will to, to the make a difference? Who will compose the redemption song for us? You know, it, the, the, the people who have held powers, like we have said, if you look at the current president, um, 1966 come to coup, he was there. He has been on that corridors of power for 68 years. since that time. Yes, sir. So what we, are, what we are looking at is a system, deep, strong, yeah. difficult to fight. Yeah, yeah. And that All system right. is incapable, intrinsically incapable of reforming In itself. itself. Yeah. We need a change. Mm. And I think the younger generation can plug into all the series of events. If you hold power, or the more we hold power, it's better than holding the street. Yeah, yeah, but we've had 37-year-olds as uh, legislators. We've had the same uh, detective, Fash, Those who's ones been there will be since swallowed up in the system. The system, the system will eat them up for breakfast easily. Yeah, true, I agree. Uh, uh, and then uh, before uh, we go, let me quickly say, let me quickly say that we've seen how important the local government level, uh, government at the local gov uh, level is. I think this is about the time we should now begin to look at how people like Obama were knocking on Dose. doors while they were, they were canvassing for votes. How it is that when you're going to the, be a member of parliament in the UK, you're talking to the people door to door. Mm -hmm. This is the time to ask that Nigeria reconstitute the way we do things, the way we, you, you, can't you know, the structure. Let us begin to make it count. You can't reconstitute with the right. Chuka said, we have a problem. They don't have it. They don't want you to create a problem for them. And so you cannot reconstitute the structure by you sitting back. Mm. You have to advocate this one thing, INEC, we need it reconstituted. Electoral Once you are able to have that, you can have Igbola Hong can say tomorrow I want to go to the House of Assembly and all he needs to do is to go knock door to door and yeah. most people will listen to Independent it. But, but as it is, yeah. but as it is, well, after the break, Chuka advocates for a complete overhaul of the government. Stay with us.